Good morning and welcome to an all new Eye of the Tiger. I'm Joseph McIntyre. And I'm Joshua Jones Trammell. Yesterday, Roseville High School announced that Eye of the Tiger's very own Joseph Bianchini won the title of Boys State Delicate. How's it feel to win? Hey man, it feels awesome. The whole experience was really cool. We got to show up in suits. I went for like a James Bond Wolf of Wall Street type look, you know. Um, my competition was tough. Uh, Bryce, Nathan, and James are three of the smartest dudes I've ever met. Um, but I went in there, answered some questions, ended up getting the win. It was really cool. The Boy State alternate is junior Bryce Stahlberg. In other news, the RHS drama production of Into the Woods has been postponed. Any tickets brought online will be valid for the new show dates. And now we go back over to Joseph Bianchini for sports. Good morning. Welcome to this Tuesday's edition of EOTSN. I'm Joseph Bianchini. This week, pretty much every spring sport you can name is back underway. Potentially the two biggest sports starting, though, are baseball and softball. Baseball start their year tonight at Oakmont. You've seen all the video packages we're calling their team chemistry building over the past few months. This team works super well together and have a real shot at making some noise in this highly anticipated season. Yeah, everyone's excited. Everyone's really close this year, so it's a big part of the game. Um, our biggest goal is to just beat Mid Creek. Softball start their season versus St. Francis tomorrow. In my opinion, of all the spring sports teams, this softball squad has the most potential to make a title run. They have six college commits on the roster. Six. The squad is pretty senior heavy, meaning a lot of these girls have been playing together for a minute now. This team is going to be fun to watch. I mean, I feel like we kind of just expect to like do good in league, um, hopefully win a few rounds in the playoffs. Um, I think that's one of our main goals. And finally, let's take a look at what games we've got scheduled for this week. Today, boys lacrosse kick off their season at Del Oro. Girls lacrosse go to Del Oro as well tonight. Boys tennis take on Mid Creek themselves, and baseball kick off their season at Oakmont. Tomorrow, boys golf are home against Rockland. Softball kick off their season versus St. Francis. Swim have a meet with Antelope and Bella Vista, and girls lacrosse go to Rio Americana. Thursday, let me tell you, you've just got a ton going on. Boys golf versus Whitney, boys tennis versus Antelope, boys volleyball versus West Park, and Stunt have a meet that day as well. Friday, baseball plays Del Campo, Stunt have a meet versus Folsom and Del Oro, boys lacrosse go to Whitney, boys tennis go down to Fresno for a tournament that lasts through Saturday, softball have a tournament at Pleasure Valley that also lasts through Saturday, and swim go to the 10th Grizzly Invite for a meet at Granite Bay that lasts, you guessed it, through Saturday. And finally, on Saturday, Roseville hosts Heritage in baseball. And that's all on your home for Roseville High School sports, top plays, breakdowns, and more. I, the Tiger Sports Network, UTSN. And now we go over to entertainment. Thanks, Joseph. Last Friday, one of the soon-to-be biggest games of this generation was finally released after years of development and setbacks. Announced back in 2019 at gaming convention E3, developer From Software Inc., publisher Bandai Namco, and author George R.R. R. Martin have all collaborated to create a masterpiece. After receiving the most anticipated game at the Game Awards in both 2020 and 2021, and after winning Most Wanted Game from the Golden Joystick Award in 2021, tensions were rising leading up to launch day as fans hoped to not be disappointed like they were for games like Cyberpunk 2077. Elden Ring has turned out to not be a dud and instead has exploded to the top of sales charts and reviews. Metacritic, 97%, Game Informer, 10 out of 10, IGN, 10 out of 10, so many others I can't name. Nearly every game critic in the world has said they are loving Elden Ring. It has been only four days since it was released, and Elden Ring has already beaten the record for FromSoft's previous highest launch sales, crushing Dark Souls 3 by 26%, with 730,000 sales online in only the first few minutes of it dropping. Now, no game can be perfect, and many fans are saying that the PC version of the game is just a horrible port of the console version, with a huge amount of performance issues. However, Bandai Namco has already announced their intention to release a patch solving all of the problems PC users have faced. Overall, Elden Ring is proving to be a once-in-a-generation game, and will surely be talked about for years to come. In other entertainment news, The Batman releases on Thursday, March 3rd. 
Now we go back to news. Thanks, Connor. One year has really grown over the years. We go to Rocky Moffat for more on the story. Over the past year, junior Xavier Garcia started to bulk up to get bigger for football. Along the way, he had some motivation from his peers to keep him going. What motivates me is just uh, my coaches, coach, coach Ryan King, Coach McDowell. I mean, they just keep pushing me to be better. One of Garcia's friends and teammate, Colton Salone, sees how much his bulking journey has improved over time. Uh, to be honest, he's been eating a lot, <laughs> working out a lot. So yeah, it should be working out pretty good. Pulling that truck, uh, his bench is insane and his clean is pretty good. Another friend and teammate of Garcia, Ramon Mendoza, sees how hard Garcia is working and how he's acted as a leader in the weight room. Yeah, I see him working really hard. He's pushing everybody. He's helping us all um, work better. He lifts a lot of weight, more than me, I'd say. Garcia has gained a lot since his sophomore year and is working to get bigger and better as both a weightlifter and a leader. Yeah, sophomore year I was actually 200 pounds, and now that I weighed in about a week ago, I was around 240. Garcia plans to continue to lift and get stronger for the upcoming football season. That's it for us today on Eye of the Tiger. And remember, we're always on at eyeofthetigernews.com. We'll see you next time.